Let's talk about your personal brand. That is a big thing these days. Now everybody wants to have their Instagram account represent who they are. They're on Facebook. You know, resumes are there. But now, really, you're able to develop a true personal brand to communicate to people, employers, uh, people you may be interested in on a love connection. <laughs> to really just uh, develop a brand for yourself. Well, let's talk about what that brand will look like. Do you know that about 70, 75% of the people, the first thing they recognize about you is your smile? It's your smile. I could have missing eyebrows, I have no hair, but it's my smile that, that draws you in, right? And so, if that's the case, where should your personal brand actually start? It's your smile. You can't walk around with no brown teeth or yellow teeth you can't you can't walk around with holes in your smile you can't walk around with in pain because then you're not really feeling good so at the end of the day if you really want to start and develop a true brand you're going to have to invest three things you're going to have to invest some time at the dental office time at home taking care of the teeth energy Everything requires energy, some kind of form of energy. All good intentions going towards what you wanted to achieve with a nice, good looking smile, confident smile. And also, if it's not where you want it to be, it's gonna take some money. Cause you got to acquire the skills of a really good dentist, the materials behind it, the time. But at the end of the day, you'll be able to take good photographs, establish a personal brand, and actually help you propel you to whatever goal you may actually have. Whether it's financial, family, relationships, socially speaking. You can't go wrong with a smile. And I know because I am a dentist. <laughs>